So Tanya, you are John's first wife. That's correct. So tell me a little bit about your story. Well, I'm kind of the first bookend of this story. Deborah's the, the final the final bookend and the final chapter. And um, I married John when I was very young at 23 and kind of a, a um, young budding uh, girl who wanted a family, was looking for somebody who was Catholic, who had the same values, same ideas of how to um, live their life, someone smart. And um, I met John out dancing with friends after work. and. He stopped me on the way to the bathroom, and that's how the story started. And how many years were you together? We were together like 12 years, married 10. Yeah. And how many years into your marriage did you realize that he wasn't all that he pretended to be? Not till the end, till he asked me for a divorce. And then I was like, something's not right here. And that's what allowed me to kind of get the courage and the bravery to start looking and digging on someone that I, you know, you don't do that to your husband, you know. So I started searching, I got some clues from his mom. I called his mom who I'd never met. I searched his office and I found drugs and an affair. And that's how my knowledge of who he was started. Mostly his mom. Wow, what, yeah. what was the most telling thing that his mom told you? That he wasn't even the age that I thought he was, that he had altered his name, that he'd been arrested and had a drug uh, arrest many many years ago because John was very clean cut very hard working uh, played basketball three nights a week never smoked never drank nothing very square what are you hoping that people take away from this real life story because it's crazy that this really happened well I mean I think there's a lot of lessons here um, one of them is listen to yourself don't let people talk you out of those clues that you might be getting about somebody I trusted him more than I trusted myself and that kind of blew up in my face. The other thing is just the awareness, um, you know, about abuse. Abuse just isn't sexual and physical. This is a different type of abuse. This is coercive control and just getting that out there I think is very important. And also you and Deborah are both intelligent, smart women. So yeah. this is just for lots of people that have the podcast and to be watching the show, this is what makes it even more unbelievable. Right, right. And I, I also, I, I don't want women to be ashamed. Um, and that's why I, you know, I'm here, that's why I'm sharing the story, and that's why I'm standing um, in the truth that is my life. And for my girls, I want to model that for them. We didn't do anything wrong, and uh, they don't need to be embarrassed, and neither do I. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell, and never miss a video.